what I loved about the Freedom Curriculum was it really solidifies the truth of the gospel, the truth of God's word. And at the conference, um, I just definitely, I went in with anticipation, like I said. I was really, really believing and expecting that God was going to do something. And he met me there and um, he gave me, he gave me a vision of, of myself as he sees me. In that moment, it was like I was transported out of the room where the room changed and suddenly it was just me and I was in God's presence. He just looked so pleased. He looked so, so happy. Like he didn't say anything, but it was like in that moment, he was saying, you're welcome here. This is how I see you. For the whole day going through, you know, piece after piece after piece. And then finally at the end, you could just feel the room was full of the Holy Spirit and feeling it just take over me. I just felt like I was a completely new person. In, inside, my prayer life just became so much more open and broader, but also in my, my physical life, things changed. Um, a job I was so unhappy with changed, and I got a new job, which is just a perfect match for me. Things that I wasn't even asking for or praying for. Every morning, I think of that. Every morning I remember that and I meditate on that, that promise that God gave me. And I really believe that that's for everyone. And I think real freedom is stepping into that new identity, stepping into who he says we are. When you have the same problems coming back over and over again and trying to control them yourself or fix it this time and recognizing that it's not the situation, it's that it's something much deeper than that. And you are actually given the tools to dig down and unearth those things that are underneath it, which is what's keeping you in bondage to it. The life of abundance is really in that place of intention where we step out of our comfort zone and we um, strive for abundance. And that's where things really start to happen. Anyone who's tired of, of saying this is good enough or, or who's, who's tired of complacency or having an apathetic spiritual life. And I think the difference is, I think a lot of times the difference is us, really. You know, God can do anything, but God wants us to want Him to move in our lives. He wants us to call upon His presence. And when there's a group of people, a room full of people, a church full of people, a city full of people, you know, calling upon the presence of the Lord, some pretty amazing things happen. And I saw the Holy Spirit move, and it was, it was life-changing, definitely.